What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a new video for you because recently I made a video about Brittany Boren Leach and how she sent one of her family members to come and threaten to sue me. And today I've got a new video for you because Brittany actually DM'd me and today I'm going to talk all about it. So get ready, pay close attention, grab a snack and wash it down with some hot tea. So today is actually my birthday, which I feel a little bit anxious over. I just don't like birthdays in general, but I am happy to say that I'm a least not getting sued according to Brittany but I want to give you guys some like uh, backstory before we get there because after I made my video things went down if you guys saw that last video you would have seen that Cassie whoever she is messaged me on Instagram and she was pretty much suing me and telling me that she's got a 20,000 defamation lawsuit ready for me because of the video I posted about Brittany and her mother Tiffany and how Tiffany her mother supposedly rumored allegedly like took her ex-husband whatever that video has been explained and told and that's not the story right now. So she messaged me this stuff and I made a whole video about it and actually I got permission to make the video. I usually don't even ask for permission but I asked and I said oh also these um, DMs will be a video of themselves. She said that's fine you can make a video about it um, and whatever. So I made the video and after that she messaged me a little bit more and honestly I was so anxious because I was like okay when is she going to see the video? I took down the original video. That's what she wanted. We had that very clear but remember when she first messaged me she was was very very defensive. She was telling me that lawyers are going to sue me within the next 24 hours. She told me that her, that Brittany is her family. She told me that I, she, I'll have to come and fly on a plane to come to you to meet you in court. You'll have to come to court within 15 days. Like she made a lot of big threats and a lot of you guys in the comments were calling her out and you were like wait she doesn't have a case here at all. Maybe that's why her name is Casey. She has no case. I don't, I, that's a stupid joke. But anyways she messaged me again and let me pull up these DMs. Oh my gosh you guys have to see it. Okay, so um, don't look at the bottom part. I know you, whatever. So pretty much I said it's down. And you guys saw that first message that she sent. I replied, it's down after I did that live stream. She said, thank you. And she said, can I have your email? And honestly, I thought that she was gonna be like, okay, because I'm sending you like the lawsuit because you just did this live stream. Even though it was clear, I'm just gonna do this live stream. But I said, yes, why so? And she said, was gonna send you a Starbucks gift card saying thank you for the gesture and thinking of my family. And then later on, she said, really? And she said, now dot 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 hurts me. And then said, I apologized, question mark, wow. And I was like, wait, what? Like, I told you I was gonna be making the video. Like, I literally got permission. We were very clear with it. If you saw that original video, I even told her, I was like, so to be clear, you just want the original video down. I took the original video down. I want to clarify with you guys when there's a video just missing from my channel, like, you're gonna be like, wait, why was that deleted? Then she sent me some voice messages, which I actually haven't listened to. I'm so nervous. I'm about to play them for you guys right now. I don't even know. And then she said, my heart is shattered. I'm very, very hurt. I gave, I hope you had a good night, blah, blah, blah. This is my first time actually reading these. Um, I won't ask you to remove the video because as much as I want you to, I know you won't. Um, that's fine. And then she said, I hope you have a good night. I'm hurt, very hurt, but it is what it is. Okay, girl, like, I don't even know who or where you came from. I never made a video about you. Like, you are just doing a little bit too much. I mean, that video I did make, but I told her I was going to make it. And then she tried to video chat me several times, which I thought was really weird. Like, that was too much for me. Like, please, I do not want to talk to whoever you are. Like, you're scaring me right now. Like, why are you... Oh, my gosh. <gasps> did she remove all her... Okay, I was going to say, I need to play these voice messages. Okay. I don't understand. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can play this. She's crying. Okay, I'm not trying to make fun of her or bully her. That's the thing. I'm not trying to make fun of her or bully her. Second of all, I went out of my way to apologize to you. You did apologize. We both we both agreed that this was a hard conversation to have. We agreed that I will be making a video about it. And then we talked about... um. What? We just... That was it. Like, I literally said, yeah, these DMs are going to be a message. Oh, my gosh. She's the crying. The fact that you know... Why are you crying so much? You know why she's crying? You know why you she's crying? Okay. You know, I know why she's crying? And I'm not trying to bully her, and I'm not trying to fight with her, because I don't know. This is just way too much. Because even, like, after this whole crying thing, she went and... <sighs> This is so weird. She went and sent me a PayPal donation. Like, let me look at this. She sent me a PayPal donation, which if you guys ever want to support my channel, it's linked below, but literally no pressure. And where is it? She literally said, like, um, 
Oh my gosh. Okay. She sent me uh, $15 on PayPal, which is so weird to me and said, I still want to thank you. And since I haven't received your email, enjoy some Starbucks on me, but your new video hurt me, but I deserve it for how I acted. And I got def defensive and apologized. Didn't mean to, but thank you for removing the video. I hope you have a good latte or cake pop bar too. Um, I am actually allergic to coffee. I am sorry to announce that. I don't know if I've told you guys. I definitely said it on my other channel, but I don't know if I said it on this channel. I am allergic to coffee, so no, I'm not enjoying any coffee. And honestly, I don't even want that money because it feels dirty. Um, I feel like me and Cassie had our closure at that one point in the one video where it's like, okay, by the way, I'm making this video, but the original video is gone. And now I just feel like <laughs> that was just a lot right there. So that went down and that leads me to Brittany messaging me. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Again, we are talking about Brittany Born Leach. If you don't know who she is, she has a bunch of subscribers here on YouTube. She's got 240,000 subscribers and she is a YouTube mommy with a bunch of of content. Well, she sent a DM to me, guys, and actually, I feel like this is my first time reading it. I did read it, but mm, I, like, kind of skimmed it, so let's read it word by word. Hi, I have seen your YouTube videos in regards to me, and I first want to say that I did not feel that you were personally attacking me at any time in your videos, and I have a lot of respect for that. I also want to say that we personally did not send my, any family after you to sue you. Cassie is a girlfriend of a family member, which I believe is a girlfriend of her brother, I'm not too sure, and I was completely unaware that anything had been said until last night when it was brought to my attention. So I feel like Cassie was probably crying because she realized, like, oh, yo, like, I did this without Tara, or I mean, ugh, Tara. I, was, I got Tara Henderson on my mind without Brittany even knowing. And like, that's obviously not a good look, especially if you're like a girlfriend, like she's not even married in. It's kind of like, why are, like, I would be like, if that was my like brother, I'd be like, leave your girlfriend just out of my YouTube life, even though she's an influencer. She, so she should get it, you know? Um, okay. Cassie is a girlfriend of a family member I was completely unaware until last night. That must have been, yeah, not a good conversation. I believe that she had good intentions, but my husband and I would never sue you. Unfortunately, we've had plenty of hurtful things said about our family, but we have never tried to sue anyone, nor would we sue you. I just wanted to be as clear as air because your title of your video leads people to think that I am trying to sue you, but in reality, I have no idea that this even happened. So, clarification, she is not intending to sue me, which... Obviously, when I made that yesterday, that video yesterday, like, I was in full panic mode. The video was down. I was like, I'm going to be sued. Like, what is going on here? Because I told the story about her mom, and that story is crazy, and her mom went all on private and everything, and that's fine. But I, like, I am, I do have the video down still just because I don't want to hurt Brittany because that was what I said yesterday, and that's still how I feel today. Um... But I do find it interesting that, like, her, like, brother's girlfriend or whatever really felt the need to just come on and come at me and that she didn't even tell Brittany that this was going on. So, I don't know. I do feel sad about the situation. I'm glad that they're not trying to sue me. Honestly, I didn't think they ever would really sue me, but I said that in my video. I just took down the other video because I was like, okay, I don't want, if it really did hurt her and it's causing this many issues, like, obviously what I said in that video is truth because they are freaking out and they are not going to sue me because there is no case. So, I don't know. I'm not trying to rag on her. Brittany has gone through so much. And when people have made nasty videos about her and crew online, like I've read the arguments, I've seen whatever people have to say, and I just have to say, I would never make a video about her son, especially something so sensitive and something she is still mourning and will mourn for the rest of her life. Like, please, we need to have some sympathy when it comes to reporting certain things. When I talked about her, I talked about that crazy instance with her mother stealing her ex-husband or whatever happened. It's honestly, something's there because all the whole family is trying to message me, but, um, yeah, I, I don't have any ill will towards Britney, and I do realize, like she said, people have made horrible videos about them online. I'm just not one of them, but like they're involving me and this is becoming a video and a video and a video because I have to come on here and clarify like, oh yeah, I'm not getting a $28,000 lawsuit because Brittany wasn't even freaking aware that her brother's girlfriend did this. Like, okay, like let's reel it in folks and just try to figure out what's actually going on here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this clarification video. Again, today is my birthday. I think I'm posting this Friday, December 11th, but um, I'm glad you guys were able to join to watch this and get a little update on what was going on. I still have other DMs from other YouTube mommies I kind of want to like put on YouTube and just talk about it like Brittany and Babies and Aaron, like I don't know. I, I Let me know what you guys want to see next on my channel okay. I will see you guys soon and have a nice weekend. Bye guys.